Guys, I'm just kidding. Never do dips. Welcome back to the Ron Williams YouTube channel. I did a video some time ago about how dangerous dips are. Why did you see me doing dips? That was a prank, guys. Don't ever do them. I only did a couple. I would never uh, add that into my routine because it is so dangerous for the shoulders. Now, this is supposed to be a tricep exercise. <clears throat> and all the way up, ooh, triceps. Well, just because of the range of motion and gravity and rotating the shoulders, there's a much better way to work your tricep. And it has worked, it half works the tricep. Some people use it for a chest exercise. There's a better movement. So whenever you're doing a movement, the important thing is, is there a better way? You find out what are you trying to accomplish and is there a better way to accomplish it? Now watch this movement. As I'm going down, you'll notice that my shoulders rotate forward. That joint is a ball in a socket. It is not supposed to rotate forward. I'm going against the joint itself. If I'm gonna walk, work my tricep, I wanna be able to extend and keep that shoulder solid. I wanna be able to extend this way rather than rotating the shoulders going against that joint. Even if your hands are overhead, the shoulder is solid. Don't go against the joint. This is one of the exercises that I get the most flack about. You know why? People love their dips. I'm not saying don't love dips. I'm just saying don't do them. Why? Because the most important thing is keeping your body safe. Why are you working out? Is it to injure yourself or to be more healthy, to protect the joints, to stabilize the joints? I mean, it just makes sense, doesn't it? You're rotating, you're going against the joint. If you want to isolate that tricep, there's a better way to do it. If you want to isolate your chest, there are so many other chest movements that you can do. But one thing about the dips, I'll have to hand it to you. If you're going to do just using your body weight, the dips is an alternative for those people. But I would find another way to work the tricep. I would find another way to work your chest. What would I have you do? I would have you do tricep push downs. I would have you do overhead tricep extensions. I would have you do reverse push downs. I would have you, I mean, there are so many different uh, ways to work that tricep and chest. Man, you could do that all day. You can work your chest with decline presses, concentrating on keeping that shoulder where it belongs. And in order to work your chest, guys, it's not the extension of the arm that works your chest. This doesn't work your chest. It's the rotation of the shoulder that works your chest. When the arm moves this way, chest is not necessarily involved. If you put that arm down to the side like this and you squeeze the shoulder forward, uh, you'll feel the chest contract. All the way back, full stretch, squeeze. Uh, that's what works the chest. The arms are just going along for the ride. So if you want to work your chest, when you're doing like cable crossovers, it's the movement of that shoulder that's coming in with the resistance that's contracting the chest. I want you to try this while you're standing there. Hold your arm out to the side, put your hand here, squeeze, and now cut all the way forward. You'll feel the chest continue to contract. Do it again, put your hand right here where the pec delt ties in, and squeeze all the way through. You'll feel the chest contract. Now, put your arm to the side, and just push your arm forward like this. It's the slight rotation of the shoulder. When that shoulder stretches all the way back, come all the way forward, that works the chest. This right here, I'm not even gonna go down anymore. That's damaging to the shoulder joint. Don't do it, I don't care who tells you. Modify it, do it another way. Why modify it when you can do an exercise that isolates the tricep or the muscle group that you're going after. Don't take a chance. You have a lot of people that uh, they go against the shoulder joint. Baseball players, they only let them throw so many pitches and inning and also in a season. Gymnasts, 
They're very, very strong. But after a while, you see them in their prime, but when they get older, you'll find out they have joint problems. So many people have joint problems because of damaging that, uh, the shoulder girdle when they're younger and they didn't have somebody like me to say, don't do dips, don't do this, don't do that. People always say, you know what, Ron, we've got to do something, man. Yeah, there's a lot of things that you can do and I want to show you what those things are. So keep watching. God bless you till next time.